A novel approach from a Silicon Valley inventor who knew nothing about engines can make a 20% gain in fuel economy in a GMC Yukon Denali. Delphi and Tula are now bringing that idea into production. Delphi's Jim Zizzleman explains. The engine in this vehicle actually has a technology called dynamic skip fire. And this technology actually offers the OE an opportunity to markedly improve fuel economy on these, on these engines. In fact, all engines, whether they be large V8s like what's in this vehicle, right down to the smallest turbocharged direct injected four cylinder that you see on the road today. For more than 100 years, engines have only worked one way, a single mode. If you bought a V8, you got eight cylinders all the time. With dynamic skip fire, you can run on all cylinders or just a fraction, many modes, if you will, all during the same drive. Uh, in the past, uh, engines have been set up so that they run on all eight cylinders most of the time, and we would just cut that airflow off. So you take all eight cylinders and reduce each cylinder's effectiveness. The aha here was, let's not do that. Let's let one or two or three cylinders run at full peak optimum power and just not operate the others at all. And when you run those others at optimum power levels, they actually run much, much more efficiently. It's like breathing through a straw while running a marathon or being purposely wasteful while making an omelet. So it's like making uh, a three egg omelet from a dozen eggs, right? You could open all 12 eggs and just pour enough out of each egg to make a three egg omelet and throw the rest away or just open three eggs. So in this case, we're going to open just the three eggs all right, and run the engine that way and not throw away the power that would be generated by the other cylinders by, by choking their airflow. You only need 30 horsepower to maintain a cruising speed on the highway. Other times, you want all the power this 6.2 liter engine can give. Now as I come over this hill and I'm coming down the hill and I take my foot off the throttle, I've gone right to zero. So as we're coasting down, we're firing on no cylinders right now. We're going hundreds and hundreds of feet here. As I step back into the throttle, immediately runs right back to eight cylinders. And as you can hear and feel in the vehicle, right, we have that full V8, 400 horsepower feel in this, in this uh, vehicle. And you know the interesting thing, I'll say it this way, the unremarkable thing is that you have no idea any of this is happening on the vehicle. You have no idea. That's how integrated and smooth this system works in this vehicle. Dynamic skip fire has sparked a lot of interest among car companies. Product planners don't have to change the size of the engine, the displacement, or the vehicle designed to fit around it. That saves a lot of investment and leverages what has been spent on the engine and car designs, the tooling, and the current layout of assembly and engine plants. They can get up to 20% better with just software and a few parts. So this allows you to really hit both ends of the engine spectrum. Those engines that are a bit older or maybe more legacy oriented, and those that have already been quite modernized and already have a basis of fuel economy improvement. According to Zizzleman, Delphi plays a key role in making Tula's concept a production reality. You know, Delphi is in a very unique position in that we are very expert and have for years produced a lot of valve train technologies. We're also very strong on the engine management system side. So all of the electronics, the controls that go in those electronics, and all the assorted hardware like fuel injection systems and throttles. We actually have all that technology in one place inside Delphi Powertrain. There's no other organization uh, in the world that really has all that technology together. So having that together in combination with this great software company called Tula, that is a unique combination.